Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Clarity Cure. I am so excited that you decided to take some time today to really accelerate your business and learn some of these amazing tools and tips in this masterclass. So let's get started. The Clarity Cure is a five step secret sauce to growing your business, to getting you the income you deserve, to help you create the impact you are here on planet Earth to make, and to help you discover the freedom like no other. I always like to qualify who this is for. I want you to identify with this. So the way that I see you is you're the ladypreneur, the female entrepreneur that's looking for a more impactful and successful way to do this. And I always use ladypreneur because honestly, I just think it's more fun. It feels more sexy. It feels more empowering than I'm a female entrepreneur, right? So you are really just a woman in the business arena wanting to go bigger with your business, quit the day job if you're still having this extra business as your side hustle and really get you to the place that you want so that you're making the money and you're getting this really massive freedom and playfulness in your life. In the next 45 minutes, we are going to go over a few things. One, you're going to learn how to trust that your service or product is 100% possible, marketable, and can make some money. You are going to get the secret sauce to success. And this is the secret sauce that brings you financial rewards. It lines your pockets with cash and confidence. And really, there really is a secret sauce that almost no one is teaching. You're going to learn how to attract more income so that you can make the impact that I just know you are here to make. You're gonna learn how to officially wear your CEO hat. And that means that you are gonna learn how to delegate tasks so that you have more time to create and you make more money as a result so that you can enjoy the rewards in your business. And last, when you add all this up, you are going to understand how you are such a massive <clears throat> manifesting machine so that you understand how you magnetize the money, the clients, and the fun having into your business and lifestyle. My promise to you, you are gonna get a step-by-step -step strategy wherein you're gonna learn how to intuitively accelerate your business and income. But first, let's just take a little pause here and check in with each other. <clears throat> I want to see if this feels or sounds like you. Do you feel like for sure, 100%, you cannot go back into the world of soul sucking, working for other people and knowing that you may not get to make the impact that you feel so led to make in the world? Do you feel like you're wearing too many hats between your business and your personal life? And really this whole delegation thing feels so confusing and hard because asking for help is the challenge really when you think about it. Like you don't wanna burden anybody. You're pretty sure if you did ask for help, they're gonna get it wrong anyways. Or my favorite one, which is you can't ask for help because you have to do everything by yourself. You don't want to feel weak or look weak amongst your people. Do you feel like there are so many ideas brewing inside of you that it's almost the struggle to get the clarity on what it is that you could really bring into the world that's going to bring you the income, but really create massive impact in the world? Do you see other people in this business arena that you're in getting already the notoriety and the income that you really know deep down that you're meant to deserve? Because if you're so perfectly honest, you actually are working harder and better at this than the competition. Do you find yourself comparing your business to the other people in your industry? especially the ones that are maybe just a scotch ahead of you and feeling and wishing that somehow you were that lucky? Do you sometimes feel 
and I mean sometimes, like feel completely paralyzed in self-doubt and that you feel that icky inner critic is replaying all your greatest fails, trying to convince you that you for sure cannot do this because somehow you're not good enough. Do certain pieces of your business get in the way of you getting bigger? because you just don't know how, or they are massively triggering to you because they are scary and different and they don't make sense and you don't know where to begin or how to do this. But if you did, maybe it would feel more manageable. Do you feel like you are kind of riding under the radar? Because if you're honest, you're really not ready to tell the world what you're up to because you are maybe just a little afraid of the judgment or their input. But the real truth is you're just scared as fuck. Like this is a big, massive undertaking creating a business. And it's really easy to move into that tight butt, not breathing, feeling like you have to be in control of everything, manipulating and just trying so hard to not admit the truth that this is scary and hard. Great news. <laughs> I wish I could yell this one. These aren't the problems. I know they feel like the problems, but they're not actually the real problems. The real problem is you haven't made the shifts. But once you make these shifts, and I'll explain the shifts, I promise I won't leave you out to dry here. Once you make these shifts, you are going to actually feel confident putting that CEO hat on and delegating out these tasks so that you can really make the cash list you're here to make. You're going to feel like you're the true authority in your arena. And that competition that you keep comparing yourself to is going to disappear. Well, to be honest, they're going to be in your rearview mirror and they may be the ones now having the jealousy instead of you. You're going to have true clarity and confidence so that you can master this business, this life balance, and get your weekends back so that you can be free to be and do you. Once you make these shifts, the impact that you will have on your clients will have them leaving testimonials and tributes to you based on the results that they are experiencing. And because of your expertise and abilities, they are going to be pressing that visa into the palm of your hands and screaming hallelujah and paying you what you are worth because you are the one person that was able to get them the results that they have been needing. You are going to crush that goddamn imposter syndrome, otherwise known as that crippling self-doubt and comparison, and truly live in belief of your product, your service, and your abilities. And last but not least, you are going to have achieved the freedom that comes with having figured out how to make your business work for you. The luxury of choosing your clients, making the income you know you deserve, planning vacations or buying houses or finally doing that remodel, purchasing the clothes you've had on your list, the rewards that are just standing on the edge of when I make it, now you're going to have made it and those rewards are going to be yours and possible. Oh, and if you're still hanging on to that day job, once you make these shifts, that day job will get gone and you will be making the income you need to support yourself. So you may be asking at this moment, who the heck am I? My name is Willow Bradner and I'm known as the accidental psychic. Psychic for me became the accoutrement to my previous business as a hairdresser. The ability helped me to become a leading hairstylist in my industry. It showed me immediate ways to make more money, charge higher rates, and you guys, it helped me help my clients achieve their dreams between every cut and color. 
Today, I help entrepreneurs and service providers like you discover your intuitive abilities so that you can make more money, gain more confidence, and grow your business. I help people like you get their clients the same kinds of results I was getting my clients using your intuition. And I do this while helping you remove those mindset blocks and rewire you for the financial belief of success and reward. So you might also wonder, where do these five shifts that I'm speaking of come from? Well, let me explain. For the last 20 years, I have been working one-to-one -one with women like you. And they have all said the same thing over and over again. They want freedom, a better career, to own a business, to find big love, to travel, to take time off with their families. Essentially, what they all say is that they want more than what the status quo that they've been settling for has given them. And whenever I ask my client why my client wasn't going through with their dreams, why they weren't following through by starting the business or changing the career, the answer has always been the same, you guys. There's not enough money or there is not enough time. But as I've dug deeper, I've discovered what the real holdout is. They didn't believe they were good enough and they didn't know how they could follow their dreams. But what's more, they did not believe it was possible to be and do whatever they wanted. After years of having this conversation, I personally began to study with and speak to those who have successfully gotten past their doubts and fears to follow through with their visions and businesses. Through these interviews, the five shifts were discovered. What every successful entrepreneur had in common was this. They had busted through the fear of unknown. They had busted through the fear of not being good enough, busted through the fear of failure and the fear of not making money and the fear of not having the time to do it, all by activating one secret weapon that I will reveal to you in these five shifts. Shift one, I know it might feel or seem obvious, but trust yourself is the first shift. And it might feel fluffy and you might be thinking, well, dear God, you've got to have better information. I came for the money and the strategy and the secret sauce. And I just want to dispel any rumors or fear in your head. You're going to get that too. Here's the thing, right now there's a lot of shiny objects that are gonna tell you what they think the solution is for your business. And all of those solutions are based on what worked for that individual. And all these shiny objects shouting at what they think your problem is and that they have the solution for you are just gonna mess with your internal inner critic telling you what you're supposed to do in business. But I'm going to dispel and challenge these ideas by instead asking you to trust yourself. And what that means is you might be sitting on a really wild idea or a crazy business. You may be in total disbelief or distrust that what you have created, what your service is, or what your expertise and ability is, isn't good enough. So let me help dispel that. Here are some businesses that I guarantee people said would fail, but they trusted themselves enough and believed that it was possible that it worked out. There's the pet rock, the pool noodle, the mood ring, the chia pet, the million dollar homepage, Santa mail, a guy who makes wine for cats, a potato parcel. You can write a note on a potato and mail it to your bestie. You can go to the International Pet Massage Training Institution. There's a man in LA who walks people for a living. And you may have seen one of my favorite businesses that you wouldn't believe would be so successful, Daily Harvest, which is advertised all over Facebook. This girl decided that she was gonna make a mail order vegan food company and is killing it in the market. Here's the thing though. If you don't trust yourself, how is anyone else ever going to trust you and your expertise? 
You will never get paid to do what you love or put yourself out in the world to market your service or your product if you do not trust yourself. So here's a little added bonus story. I always debate about putting stories in about myself, but I just feel like this one drives this point home. As I, excuse me, as I became a psychic, you can imagine that there was a lot of trepidation and there's also always a lot of people who just simply don't believe in this and they, they're skeptics of psychic. And I so appreciate that and I understand it as well. I still to this day won't lie, I'm pretty skeptical. But with stories like this, it's hard not to trust myself. I'd been having a reoccurring dream for nights on end about an exit, like a highway exit in Golden, Colorado. At the time, my husband and I had a 10-month-old baby. We were living in downtown Denver in the first house that we'd ever purchased, and we were looking for a slower lifestyle. We wanted a country lifestyle, and we'd been looking for almost a year for a house to no avail. We had not found anything. And one fateful weekend, we ended up in Golden, and I said to my husband, we have to take this exit. I keep having a dream about it. Now, again, we've been looking for almost 12 months for a house. At this point, we'd given up. But he, you know, against maybe his better judgment or because he trusts me too, he said, all right, let's take this exit. And we're driving down these country roads, and I could just feel it inside. I just knew that this was some, some sort of you know, miracle on 34th street shit right here. So I had him keep driving until all of a sudden, there it was, this teeny tiny little real estate sign on the side of the road, not a proper size real estate sign, guys, like the teeny tiny little one sliver of a, a sign on the side of the road, up this dirt driveway, we go, and there it is, this tiny little white ranch style house. And we're looking at it, and we're looking at the price tag, and the price tag is much bigger than what we at the time thought we could afford. And we're like, oh my God, this house is too small for this price tag. But we sort of zoomed out from the house when we realized that the house was sitting on two acres of land. And it came with a bonus building. It was a 1,300 square foot extra garage. Now, you guys, my husband is like a big time dude. He is a contractor. He loves all of his toys. So he's got dirt bikes and four wheelers and tons of tools. And he loves to weld and build things. So a 1,300 square foot shop on a mountain is like every man's wet dream. So we immediately race back home. We call our real estate agent. We get on the phone with our mortgage agent. And again, we're convinced we're probably gonna have to sell our city house to get this house. We're not sure. We'd love to keep our city house at this moment so we can rent it out. Well, our mortgage broker says, now this is November 26th. She says, you guys have 30 days to close. You have to close this property before January 1st. If you can close this property before January 1st, you can keep your city house as a rental and you can buy this other house. And again, we're, we are shaking in our boots. This is more money than we've ever spent in our lives. But we trust that this is what is going to happen. We've been led to this house and we just believe. So we end up managing to get this house closed before January 1st, December 26th. We sign on the dotted line. And I'm telling you this story because when you trust yourself and you trust your instinct and you feel your gut and you hear these inner voices and you just follow it, it brings you financial reward. So there we are on the December 26th, we sign our mortgage and our lives away for this much bigger price tag. We managed to get our personal house rented we're making a thousand extra dollars a month on our rental property after our mortgage that helps offset and pay the new mortgage that's bigger than what we were expecting. And January 1st, 2013, the entire market shifted. It shifted in the sense that the whole market went up and overnight we made $200,000 in value on our house. Now, if I hadn't trusted myself, we would be 400K in the hole, shorter than what we had, because today is 2019, and the house has doubled 
So the first time over, we made 200 extra. By this point in 2019, we've more than doubled the value of the house. So this is why we trust ourselves. And I just want to share another story with you guys. This is a client that came through Clarity Cure. This is how Amy learned to trust herself. When she came, she was struggling in her career, desperate for change. And really what she received out of this experience was how to trust herself and her intuition. She says, my life has had a huge shift since participating in the Clarity Cure. I'm more confident in my decisions and I'm open to taking risks to get what I want. I recently quit my job and took on a riskier opportunity, but I trust that it'll pay off because that is what I believe is true. If you're here to make the big bucks or the big moves in your business, first, you have to trust yourself. Shift two. Make more money. Now you probably are wondering like, how is make more money a shift? But guys, you don't get to get the freedom and you don't get to make the impact that you're here to make if you don't first make more money. But here's the thing. If you do not believe you are worth the money you are asking for, and you don't believe that your service is worth the money you are asking for, no one else will believe it either and they are not going to pay you for it. They're not gonna pay you for it. Have you ever had somebody like screech out the amount of money that they want or, or make excuses for the services that they're providing? That's the kind of energy that I'm talking about. No one feels confident to pay somebody who's not confident about getting paid. But let's just say, let's just say on the off chance, on the off chance, they do pay you. Because sometimes we do pay that person who's super insecure. We feel insecure about paying them and they feel insecure about taking it, but we get paid. <clears throat> this is what happens. If you don't believe you're worth it, you will sabotage and burn it all down. It's called being allergic to money. If you wanna manifest more, you have to energetically believe it's possible. And I'm gonna use a low number here. If you believe 30K is all you can make, and I hope when I say 30K, each of you are rolling your eyes. I hope when I say 30K, you were like, girl, I can make that in my sleep. But if you believe that 30K is all you can make, and you stumble to ask for what your service or product is worth, then let's get clear. You don't really believe in your value and your worth. And I don't have to tell you like lottery statistics here. Seven, and I use this because here we've gone from 30K to a million K. So like let or a million dollars. So imagine you win that million dollars, right? Imagine you finally get the money that you know in your heart you want to make. You want to make six figures? Yeah. You want to make 200K? Yeah. You want to make 500K? Awesome. But if you are not a believer, it doesn't sit. And the lottery stats don't lie. 70% of lottery winners declare bankruptcy in the first three to five years of their winnings. Why? Some people say it's because they're undisciplined. I disagree. The truth is the money they won was not in alignment with their belief system. They had energetically not gotten to their belief system. If you're not energetically aligned to the money you want to make, you will not be able to charge more for your services and the people you are serving will not get the best of you. Because if you're not making the money that is in alignment with the amount of work you're putting out, your clients are going to feel it. They can feel resentment. They can feel insecurity. They are going to feel whatever disbelief that you have in the money that you're asking for. So you will not be making the impact on them because they're going to be so busy feeling this, right? And you won't be able to save money for the future growth and investing of your business if you're not making money. So you've got to raise your vibes and beliefs or get stuck at mediocrity or worse. When you're able to sit in the belief of what you want, you will attract it. Kristen and Sarah, the essential oil twins, first came to get clarity for their business and figure out how to improve it and make more money. They said, instantly we realized there were some old stories and beliefs around money that were holding us back from believing in our potential. Since doing the Clarity Cure, 
we have gained the understanding of how to truly tap into our own personal power to be successful business women. When we dug into finding out what was really holding us back, we were able to release our old beliefs and manifest what we really wanted, success. This program has been the catalyst to launch us into massive success and multiply our income many times over. Ladies, you will attract more money when you believe you are worth it. I promised you that there's a secret weapon, a secret sauce, and here, oh, deep breath, the big reveal, dun, dun, dun. Activate your intuition. So here it is, the real shift in the business, the game changer of all game changers, and the one thing no one else is teaching in the marketplace. And that is to activate your intuition for your business. Activating your intuition for your business untangles you from the emotional fears and day-to-day -day trappings of your ego. The ego will have you repeating the patterns that keep you and your business small and frankly unseen in the marketplace. When you discover your personal soul signature intuition and discover how your intuition is delivering messages to you, you will have a new business coach or business guru living inside of you that you can tap into any time you need it when making big decisions or hiring new members for your team. It's even using this ability to help your clients officially crack their old patterns when you can psychically or intuitively see into their storyline. The old way before activating your intuition is all about pushing past the crippling self-doubt and the who do I think I am story. But the new way when you activate your intuition is that you are guided to the truth of why you are here and it reminds you your purpose and it helps to align you with the right people and business opportunities. The old way has you micromanaging outcomes and deciding what your value and worth is based on old beliefs, maybe the stories you heard in your family or what society tells you the market will bear. But the new way has you intuitively being guided to trust that the outcome you are after will arrive better than expected. Your intuition will always supersede what society believes to be normal, and it'll ask you to up-level and get ahead of the competition. Now, I want you to breathe into this statement. The new way is activating your intuition so that you can get better than expected results and that it will supersede the normal societal way of doing business. It'll ask you to up-level so you can get ahead of the competition. The old way has you assuming the price tag of service based on what you would be willing to pay or what you imagine they would be willing to pay. And <clears throat> you are assuming a price tag based on a fear that somehow they won't afford you. And if they won't afford you, that somehow you'll go broke. But the new way gives you the secret weapon. And this secret weapon will have you understanding your clients and your customers and what their true higher self or their intuition needs so that you can push them to the results that they're after and have them shoving their visa card happily into the palm of your hand while screaming with joy about their remarkable breakthroughs. The old way has you trapped in indecision and self-doubt. Whereas the new way, when you activate your intuition, you will be feeling confident and so clear about your life's purpose and how best to serve your clientele. So what does this even mean when you activate your intuition? <clears throat> well, here's what it means. You have a guide living inside of you. And that guide's sole purpose is to help you get more money, more clients, attract the right employees into your business, attract the perfect and right solutions, programs, and classes that you are looking for to up-level your business. This guide creates you to become the greatest lead magnet your business has ever been. 
Suddenly you're getting speaking opportunities and you're having these psychic ahas for new avenues of business, more availability to be making money in different, different realms of your space. You'll have more confidence, more clarity. These intuitive ahas that just show up on a whim that will always up-level your business and keep you ahead of the competition. This guide helps you trust in your abilities and creates a really strong foundation of strategy. And ultimately, it's like you're able to download a psychic blueprint for your business. Activating your intuition helps you see through the noise and the BS that people are putting out there. It helps you trust that you are not just an expert, but it allows you to expand and stretch into the bold truth of why you are really here and what you are bringing to your clients and products. If you don't take the time to tap into your personal intuition, you will keep spending money trying to solve the wrong problem. You will end up following everyone else in your industry and you will not create the impact that you know in your heart you are uniquely here to make. When Jessica first showed up to get some clarity, she was miserable. She seriously thought the life she'd signed up for might be as good as it could get. She had multiple degrees and a job that she was pretty blah about. And her ego was just noisily chattering at her and trying to keep her safe while she wanted to get bigger and move into something better. Today, her friends have said, what are you doing lately to bring in all this goodness into your life? And she says, the Clarity Cure was a launching pad for me to push myself to explore different career paths, express and own what I really want out of this life, and allow myself the opportunity to expand. Since finishing the Clarity Cure, I have gotten engaged, received a promotion at work, adopted a new puppy, traveled, and am currently publishing my first ever children's book, which has been a lifelong dream of mine. I am also a finalist in a speaking conference at an author's convention this fall. Talk about making dreams come true. When you activate your intuition for business, you get the early intel and the shifts needed to make the best decisions that will ultimately award you with income, impact, and freedom. Oh, guys, this next section is just my favorite, but hey, we can't even get here to the leverage your energy to giving you more time or more money or more flexibility in your life if we don't first have that trust, if we don't also understand what it is to make money, right? Magnetizing that money to ourselves is all about believing in that and trusting in it, right? And then activating your intuition is just gonna give you inspired actions daily to take in your business so that you are easily going to be able to leverage your energy. Because again, what did we say at the top of this? The number two reasons that people aren't doing what they want in their life is time and money. And time is all about energy. Did you know that 90% of startups fail? And you can call it a fail on strategy, a fail on not understanding the market, or a fail on just not having the energy to do it all which means you're going to have to ask for help maybe before you're ready. You're gonna to have to delegate the things that are energetically draining you. And you're going to need to be strategic and have some serious follow through so that you do not become a statistical fail. To be 100% effective in your business, you're going to need to keep your energy to yourself so that you will have the time to support your future goals. When you wear all the hats in your business and life, it's easy to burn the fuck out. When Bess joined the Clarity Cure, she was feeling like everybody else was winning, but mostly she was out of energy and carrying the weight of the world and her personal life on her. She was seriously in hell, you guys. 
halfway through the program. She hadn't even finished the program when she wrote me this. <clears throat> what do you say about something or someone that gave you your life back? The shift that my life has taken since I started getting clarity. Well, I have more, more joy, more clarity, more life. No more bullshit, no more inner judgment. I'm now accepting the rewards that are coming to me and feeling like I have real control and freedom to do the things that really light me up. And ladies, I have to tell you, like Bess just sent me a text message the other day. She was <clears throat> top floor of a massive, like big deal, five-star hotel. She sent me pictures of the room and the hotel and all these, th all these things and a picture of an award that she had just been given. So after years of always feeling like she was behind and everybody else was winning, like she's uh, seriously winning awards. She's getting tons of free things that she had never expected before and things are just flowing and so easy for her right now. So if you wanna leverage more energy, you have to ask for help. You have to get to that help so that you can save your energy for all the future goals that you have for yourself and your business. Here's our last and final shift. <clears throat> and I think really one of the most important, because if you want to speak about energy, if you want to speak about keeping your energy high and your time available, then you want a mentor who's going to guide you, lead you, and really be invested in you and your dreams. You want somebody who is going to cheerlead and pump you up and speak on your behalf and really help you be clear and strategize your business. If you want to exceed your goals and accelerate your business, there's no faster way to improve and push past limiting beliefs, old paradigms, and create momentum than if you're to invest in a mentor. Let's be clear, if you don't have a mentor, you're gonna shadow box your self-doubt and fears all by yourself. And unless you are some sort of self-motivated ninja who treats fear and pain like it doesn't exist, then you're going to need somebody to help guide you and help push you off those cliffs you're afraid to jump off of and help get you around the self-inflicted blocks that would otherwise keep you playing small in your business and not making the income or the impact you know you're here to make. Investing in a mentor is going to get you the clarity that your business truly needs to make that impact you're here to make. And I want to get so crystal clear, and I want you guys to feel this really deeply. Your clients are waiting for you. You are their knight in shining armor. You are the hero they're waiting for. You have the solutions to their problems through your service or the product that you are creating. And the sooner you help them, the sooner you also get paid to do what you love. Recently, Carmen had just started a brand new product for market, and she was very aware that she did not want to lone wolf her business. So she enlisted in a summer mastermind for Clarity Cure. She says, Willow's enthusiasm and energy are contagious. Working with Willow during her summer mastermind program has brought me the clarity, direction, and focus for my business. Her sage advice is always action-oriented, challenging, and encouraging. She finds new solutions and strategies to problems and sees new opportunities to pursue. Her product should be coming to market this year. Sparks for kids, just simply beautiful, amazing. When you decide you are ready to prove yourself to your business and invest in a mentor, you will stop waiting for your business to prove itself to you. And when you get that, when you get this idea, that you are here to prove yourself to your business, then you start making the money, the impact, and the freedom you've always dreamed of. So let's just recap. Today I promised to show you how to accelerate your business for more income, impact, and freedom. You learned how to trust that your service and product is 100% possible, marketable, and can make money. You got the secret sauce. You're going to activate your intuition, right? You learned how to attract more income so that you can make bigger impact. 
you understand now that you are the CEO and boss of your business and to save time and energy, you are going to learn to ask for help. And by now, you should understand that you are a manifesting machine. And if you believe and trust yourself, you will magnetize the money, the clients, and the fun having into your lifestyle and business. So to recap, here's what you need to win. You are gonna trust yourself. You are gonna manifest and believe in the money that you wanna make. You are gonna discover your intuition and reclaim your energy by investing in a mentor, asking for help so that you can get the confidence and clarity you need to be a badass ladypreneur. So girls, now you have a choice. You can keep on fighting off self-doubt fear, and comparing yourself and your business to the competition. You can keep on making average cash for the services you provide. You can keep on following what everyone else in your industry is doing and never cut through the noise to make the income and the impact you're here to make. You can keep on seeing everyone else get the vacations, the rewards, the new things, and the freedom you know you deserve. You can keep on lone wolfing this thing and not ask for help and stay in the old financial and mindset whirlpool you're currently in. You can keep on feeling that shame, feeling wiped out, because somehow you're noticing everybody else is getting better at this you or you can fucking win <laughs> and I say that with like we, we need new energy for this right you can fucking win this is your choice your choice is right now you can have the old life you can have the life you're in or you guys can fucking win you get to start trusting that your ideas and expertise is worth it. You can have the notoriety you deserve and the raving fan club of clients that want to hand you their visa and pay you what you are worth. You can stay ahead of the competition and truly make the impact and the income and get this freedom that I keep talking about that comes with owning a business and a lifestyle that you love. Here's how I can help you get that. I've set aside some time in the next 48 hours to speak to you personally about how you can apply these ideas that we've gone over to your business. And trust me, whatever the biggest challenges you are in right now, I've heard it and I know how to help you overcome it. We'll get on the phone for about 45 minutes and we'll talk about a step-by-step -step plan to get you the clarity that you need to magnetize more money, amazing client results, and the freedom your business can afford you. And the cost for this call, totally free, you guys. Completely 100% free. And again, just to remind you who this is for, the professional entrepreneur that will not accept failure as an option the woman that is looking for a more impactful and successful way to do business. And if your name's not on this list, I'm just leaving it there just so you can possibly see yourself there. But really this is for any woman in the business arena that's wanting to go bigger with your business, quit your day job and make some fucking money. This is for you. But let's see it real clear. This is not a get rich quick scheme. There's no magic pixie dust in any fix of, of business. And don't get me wrong, this five shift strategy has some serious, serious magic here, but it really only works for the people who are ready to own their power and their place in the world. And you have got to be ready to prove yourself to your business because your business doesn't owe you a thing without your commitment. So you're probably asking, why would I get on the phone? 45 minutes free for you? Well, I'll tell you why, because this is really important to me. 
I've spent 20 years witnessing people waste their dreams because they're scared. And I personally cannot sit idly by another minute and not help. I believe in you and I want to see you thrive, not just survive. Plus, I'm guessing by now you may actually want my help accelerating your business so that you too can have the income, impact, and freedom that my other clients are experiencing right now. If so, let's talk. Let's see if this is a good fit for both of us. And if it's not, that's okay too. So here's what we do. Take a moment and a pen and paper and write this down. Or if you're watching this on your computer, go straight to your phone and punch in www.claritycures.com slash apply. And you can book your free 45 minute phone call with me so that we can go through this step-by-step -step five shift process together and really get that clarity for you and your business so that you can get ahead of the game, ahead of the competition and truly, truly get yourself and your business where you know it deserves to be. I know that you were called not just to this webinar, but called to your business. Your business has been aching in your bones for a very long time. And it's time for you. It's time for you to step into the belief that this business has been divinely guided to you. And it's time for you to step into the belief that you are worth it and valued at a very high rate for your services, your expertise and abilities. So if you feel ready and called, go to claritycures.com slash apply and let's get on the phone and let's get you and your business where you deserve to be. Thank you for joining me today. Again, I'm Willow Bradner and it's just been such a pleasure to spend the last 45 minutes with you. Thanks a lot. Peace in. Lots of love.